friend, I got a call and I thought uh, it would be a good idea to make a video uh, how we Russian treat and there are several interesting authentic methods. Now it is the autumn pandemic time and uh, maybe uh, you will like some things and uh, decide uh, to uh, treat according to the Russian style. Everybody knows when you cut a cold, you should drink a lot of uh, water and liquid. And, uh, and and today I drink tea with you. Uh, it is my uh, favorite uh, favorite tea with uh, black currant. So, what do Russian drink usually? There are several our favorite drinks. One of the most popular, uh, it is a Morse. It is a berry drink. And our local berries are um, blueberries, black currant, lingonberries, uh, ros cranberries, raspberries. And seaback thorns and cloudberries also grow in some uh, region of Russia. I will show you my home supplies for treating cold like a typical Russian. I have a lot of frozen berries. It is a currants, lingonberries and blueberries. And we like to make more so with these berries, which are also have a lot of uh, vitamins and uh, help to recover. <coughs> To make a morse, so you just need to like uh, smash berries, uh, is it correct word? And add just water and maybe some uh, sugar if you want. The next popular Russian drink is compote. Uh, it is a compote from my mom uh, with uh, cherries. It is a drink from uh, dry our local fruits. And what is Russian local fruits? Apple, of course, uh, plum, apricot, uh, and uh, cherries. And Russian really like to drink a lot of tea. And when we cut a flu or cold, uh, we uh, drink uh, tea with uh, honey and lemon. And also, also we like to also we drink tea with uh, a ginger. But ginger is not our traditional product like a honey. You can find always on my kitchen a big jar of honey. One of my video where my grandmother decided to get me uh, a big jar of honey and you surprised uh, why so big uh, jar it is a uh, typical for Russians also Russian thinks that vodka with paper is good uh, drink for treating one shot of vodka with paper especially when you begin to uh, get sick it can help you many russian believe in that recipe everybody knows it is a good way also eat something liquid and for russian it is really natural because we eat soup every day for the lunch and dinner sometimes when we cut a cold we don't change much our food it is just another great reason to make a soup there is a long cold winter in russian Central heating work in our apartment throughout the winter and many living buildings have no option to regular um, heat from the batteries. That is why we have a very dry air in our apartment in the winter time, which is not good for a cover. And that is why Russians like to humidify the air in our apartment, just hanging a wet towel, for example, or use uh, humidifiers. And also moisturize our respiratory system with inhalers and also I have inhalers which help you not to get complications with your health. And a few words about our traditional way of treatment. I would not say that every Russian use it in nowadays, but everybody knows about it and at least tried something uh, once. Master plasters uh, this way uh, was very popular in my childhood, in childhood uh, my generation. You have to stick uh, master plasters on your back. It gives you warm and it helps 
uh, for the calf cupping therapy it is a special medical uh, like a jar uh, and uh, you should uh, place it uh, on your back consider that it uh, can help you uh, when you also have a cough and some um, chest disease and you use it uh, to induce uh, local congestion but there is no scientific evidence for the benefits of this jar also the old russian way to breath uh, over potato it's like a uh, old analog of inhalers go to banya and if you follow my instagram and uh, my uh, vlog on youtube you know how i love banya and i try to go uh, once a week but you should go to banya when you don't have a high temperature of course and fever also russian method just rub yourself with vodka it can uh, give you some uh, warm and also it can help you uh, when you begin to uh, get sick about fever and high temperature uh, there is a, some consider in russia that only high temperature you should knock down if you have not so high temperature you just uh, need to suffer because in this suffer your organism your body uh, is fighting with uh, virus and uh, uh, you get uh, recovery, you on way to your recovery. So is it uh, the same in your country? I'm interested. So guys, it was uh, our method, uh, how we treat uh, ourselves when we uh, have a cold or flu. What do you think about it? I guess this video will be quite a short. I know how you want uh, that I um, make a long video, but it actually uh, difficult for me because English it's not my natural. I prepare and it takes me quite a lot of time and quite a lot of prepare preparing. But I try. I uh, work uh, myself uh, to make a longer video for you. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.